y'all so we are back with another lash extension video these are the old ones this they're looking very very dusty um so for what i noticed is that when your lashes get old the only, don't the only thing that it's attached to is to your lashes so if you get to look right here you can see that it's not really on my actual lash line it's on my lashes so I'm gonna use this lashes off along the way I'm gonna use this eye makeup remover and I'm gonna take a q-tip and I'm going to take this off of my eye I'm put some in a bottle like this and I'm gonna rub a, I'm gonna rub this part of it because this is what's keeping the lash onto my eye Okay. Look at that. It's coming off. Well, a little bit of makeup remover. Look at that. No, none of my actual natural lashes came off. Wipe off any excess makeup or anything that's on that could be on my lash. Any extra glue. Go ahead and let's just take that off. Okay. So I say doing your own lashes at home lasts you a good week. You get a good week out of these until that second week is like your redo or your filling. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna soak my Q-tip and some makeup remover. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put it on the top of the fake lashes because these is because because my real lashes is what's making them stick right now because they're old. Not too hard, not too gentle. So, take that, put that to the side. And I bought um a new set. So, the, so my last set that I just had on, these was called Bali. These were these was in the style Bali. These are in the style Allegra, I think. I think so. So yeah, these are in the style Allegra. They're like not that different, but I say the Allegra, which the one I'm gonna try out today, these are like more spread out than the Bali. So here's the Bali, like you can kind of see, and then here's the Allegra. So here's the Allegra and here's the Bali. They're not like that different, but I feel like the Allegra is like more spaced out. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's a different style, true. And as you as you saw, it's the same girl, Zoe Q, Zoe's Q, O, Q, quality over quantity. Um, I just ended up buying some more products from her because my last set went good and I even got this right here which this is a two-in-one so up top this is the ceiling and at the bottom it is the um the, the uh and at the bottom is the lash bond so they just come into this one I thought that was really cute um for y'all who already watched my last video and I put the last and I will put the link to the last lash video I had these two. This was the this was the bond, aka the adhesive, and this was the sealant. And these worked out good. And you know, she got this. Uh, and this came as a package on her website. So yeah, so let's get straight into these lashes. Okay, so 
and y'all see me am i am i up close enough so you're gonna take the lash the lash bond the lash stick and you're gonna take the bond and it looks just like this and we're just gonna work in sections I'm taking a 22 and I'm just do a little pinch because I need this to get on here. All right, so we got our one little lash together. Okay, so boom. So now, after that one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a a twenty. So these are kind of like, I guess, more on the thinner side. I want to kind of overlap them a little bit. So I'm gonna put that like right there, twenty-five, and I'm going do a little pinch. Press. Notice the placement, y'all. Let me see. You do not. I, I know for ex, I know from experience. Do not want to put it like right here where that pink part is. Keep it where your skin color is. Your eyes won't get irritated that way. It will not get irritated. I repeat. Okay, because. My eyes got very irritated. Okay, that low. But anyway, same thing, same ordeal. Take your bond, go section by section. Like that. I'm gonna go with the 18. And I think for this style, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go high low high low numbers like a 20 then a 14 a 20 then a 12 or something like that um what i think i'm gonna do this time around i'm just gonna go from 22 all the way down so and like i said i'm gonna overlap them just a little bit just like that and then do a little pinch so they can get on to the actual lash that got the adhesive on. Okay, this was looking like from the top, I guess you could say. Let's do a 16. Me doing that. Got a little glue on me. All right. Pinch that off. Fourteen. that lash gonna stay on there and kind of a little bit um just by me overlapping them a little bit you can kind of see them already starting to like low-key wispy up themselves i'm gonna take a little bit more of the bond and like get right here i'm gonna go in with the 12 
right there. Here's what it's looking like from the top. It still look clean. I'm probably gonna take some uh, make a remover and just remove some of that black that's actually that got on my eyelid. Okay, so from that 12, I think I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna do another 12. I think after that I'm gonna do one more 12. Now, mm, I think I'm going to go in one more with a 10, but I'm not going to go too far down my lip, too, um, but I'm not going to go too far down my lash line because if I put one like right here and I get the blink it, it's going to feel like something stabbing me by my eye and I hate that feeling. I get that even if I wear my, like, my false lashes. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it a little bit more. I'm going to layer it my eight. I'm gonna layer my 10 inch on to the 12. So I won't, instead of going too far down my eye with the lash, okay? So I'm gonna take a 10. I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, so boom. So this is a, our first layer of lashes. Is I'm going to stack them. Um, but I'm gonna start with a 20 and work my way down. So at first, I started with the 22, work my way down. But I'm gonna start with the 20, and then I'm gonna work my way down. So y'all know the drill, put some on there. Um, I'm going to go in with a 20. Then we're gonna put some bomb right next to the lash we just laid down. And we're gonna go in with our 18. I'm gonna put that right next to the one we just did. Oh my gosh, sometimes it's happy y'all. Make sure you wipe your uh, tweezers cause some glue can get on it and get the messing up your motion you got going on. Like, like what it's doing right now, like stop. I think it'll be a good idea just to have some alcohol just so you can wipe off the glue. Unless you have two tweezers. That'd be great because this glue just gonna keep you sticking to this thing on too. I think a good thing is to pinch them to make sure they all sticking together. Literally. So put the bond on here. We'll go with the 16. 
replace that, we'll replace our glue at. Can't forget to pinch, right? So y'all can see from right here and here, this is where I added a second layer compared to this side. Yeah. A little close up. Yeah. So yeah, that was a 16 and I'm going to actually add another 16 after the one I just did. Right here. Going in with another 16. Okay. There we go. Now you want to stick on. Press that in there. Pinch that in there. Let's get some more adhesive up on here. Uh, 14 let's place that a little bit on top of the one we just did all right so here goes our 12 so here's the last this is our volume set okay volume set my first time ever really even just having lashes like this. I use O to get them long and spiky. So it's not even that long and spiky. It's just like, you know, I don't know. However, once that's done, we're going to take the sealant. You can either take this sealant or, you know, or you can take this sealant. I mean, they're both like the same, I guess. So don't matter. Um, I'm just going to use this one. How cute. <laughs> so, we're gonna take, we're just gonna take, oop, take that and just seal it up. Cause we just don't want these lashes to move, okay? We want them to stay and last as the whole entire week and then some. So. I'm just gonna put the bond in the back. I'm gonna put the bond in the back as well. Because, um, just I guess in my mind, it would be extra security with the lashes. So. That's all I'm about to do. In my mind, that's just gonna make them stick more. And let's just take some lash remover. I mean, some eye, some um, make remover and remove some of these. Okay. So yeah. Here's this eye, you all. Here's this eye. Oh, I missed a spot. I missed a freaking spot. Here we go. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So now I'm about to go ahead, I'm gonna do the other lash like off camera because I'm gonna do the exact same way how I did this one and then I'm gonna come back to y'all with the whole final results. All right, y'all, so I just got done with this eye. Yeah. Oh, you could do your own lashes at home, y'all. I will link this and everything else down below as always. But yeah, this took me both sides. It took me like 40 minutes. It took me less than 40 minutes to do. Probably like 35 minutes. Probably just just hitting 40 minutes to do this. But yep, this set is gonna last you a good week and some days. Okay, you can't beat that. And like these, 
these will last me for like probably let's see here three these last me like probably like three more sets for forty dollars y'all talk about savings to me yeah but anyways these are the lashes if you want to see how I did my other lash set was more like I call it like a volume wispy set I'll link that below and I'm gonna do another little set probably I'm gonna try to do a hybrid I'm trying to do a hybrid <laughs> but yeah so if you like this video and you like these type of videos with these DIY lashes go ahead and like comment subscribe um tell me what y'all think and everything like that I this is different this is, this is different but you know what I'm saying sometimes change is good sometimes change is good but as always J Dolls keep it keep it funky and fresh <laughs> um I'll catch you guys in my next video I hope y'all like this bye